Welcome to the first tutorial uh, that has to do with three point perspective drawing. What you guys will need is a couple of things. So you can see we've got some coloured pencils. We also need to have a felt tip, so an art line fine liner, probably. 0.4 is a nice tip, 0.2 you might get away with, anything thicker is probably a little bit over the top and also some sort of whiteboard marker. So we're going to be using these things when we design. I also do not want to see any rulers because we're going to do a whole bunch of freehand sketching. And the idea is that as a designer you should be able to get a simple thing such as a piece of paper, a few pens and pencils and draw up a nice design idea. So first thing I'd like you to do is does divide your page into four equal parts and we can also number them so we've got number one number two number three and number four so a landscape page four equal corners what I would like you to do is just draw yourself a cube in this space so I'm going to give you 10 seconds now just draw yourself a cube just a 3d cube so not a square but a, a cube which is a 3d shape so just draw that down now Now most of you might have done something like this depending on how you were taught to draw your cubes but you might have been shown something like this where we do two squares and they overlap and then we just join our lines back like so. Very simple, not a bad cube, a little bit elongated but that's a cube. What I would like you to write is up the top here write that this is what we call no point perspective. Now by perspective, what I mean is when we look at something, so imagine you're on a street corner and the buildings in the distance are actually getting smaller. And as you look up the road, the cars look like they're further away and they're also smaller. Something like this little picture that you can see here. So this is the idea of perspective. When we're looking at something and things seem to vanish away in the distance and those things that they vanish to is what we call the vanishing point. So you can see the vanishing point is where in this one all those two little roads or those blocks meet in the distance. So with a vanishing point, that is how we get our perspective. So, we've called this no point perspective because there's no vanishing point, the shape doesn't get smaller, it doesn't look like it's going off in the distance. For this next one, I would like you to write one point perspective up the top. And to also, place a little dot here and just call it V.P, which stands for vanishing point. Now, as we draw our shape, so we're going to do something similar. I want you to draw a square like we did, maybe on a slight angle, so just like we started over here. And I want all your lines to meet up at this vanishing point. So you can see here, I've drawn my lines and my line from my back. So we've got four lines, one, two, three, four, and they're all going to join that point. And then all you do is draw straight lines and parallel lines to match the other ones. So I go down here and I also parallel with that one. So I draw it across the same. This one in the back I know goes straight down and this one in the back as well. So what I've done there, I'm going to use a slightly thicker marker just to emphasize what we've drawn. And you can too for this drawing. We've just drawn a simple angled square and we've turned it into a cube and you can see with that cube we have also created one point perspective so that's a one point perspective cube down in this one I would like you to write two point perspective in this corner we're going to draw a cube that goes to two vanishing points. So again, place a little dot, place a little dot. Call them VP. We can call it VP1 and VP2, vanishing point 1 and vanishing point 2. And this time we're going to start with a slightly different style to draw our shape because we've got two vanishing points. We are going to draw what we call a Y. So we're going to go straight down and then we're going to draw across to vanishing point 2 and across to vanishing point 1. The next thing we're going to do is turn it into a bit of a V shape which you'll see is that I'm drawing a line from down here up to vanishing point 2 
in a line up to vanishing point one. The next thing that I will be doing is drawing straight down the width and the length of my cube. So I'll be going straight down the page and straight down the page. So you can see that there. And then I'm going to box in the top, which is the next step, which means I'm going to draw from the corner to vanishing point two and from the corner to vanishing point one. So you can see how it's starting to change the perspective and it's looking, looking a bit more distorted. Now the next step is we want to make it see-through like we have with these ones, making it look like a block of ice. So we draw a line over to vanishing point two, so that one's doubling up a bit, and same to vanishing point one. And we also draw one down the back there as well. So they're a little bit out, but you can see our two-point perspective again. I'm just going to firm over it so we can really see our cube and that's all that stands out to us. And hopefully you'll see that it's got more perspective. So we've got two vanishing points. I'm sure you've guessed what we're doing here, but we're going to be doing three point perspective. So this is the basics to three-point perspective drawing, learning what the different points mean and how they work. For this next one, dot up here, dot up here, and dot down here. Vanishing point one, vanishing point two, and vanishing point three. So write those all in, and then put a dot smack bang in the center. That's where we're going to start. And we start with our step one, which is going to be drawing our Y, like so. Step two which is drawing our V. So you can see we're going up like this. Step three is doing our book cover. So you'll notice, but with this one, we draw into vanishing point three. So we haven't done that before, but we're going to angle that back in. That wasn't a very nice one. I'd like you to do them nice and straight. So you can see this one's a little bit curved, but it should have been straighter, should have been coming down like that. Now it looks like a bit of an open book cover. You could imagine a person sitting behind there. The next step is we box in our top across to vanishing point two and across to vanishing point one. So we've got our three point perspective cube that now looks even more distorted and we also need to turn it into a cube of ice, remember? So we want from all our four corners, we draw back to our vanishing point. So from this corner, we go to that vanishing point, this one to the opposite corner and same with the top, we go from the top down. So we've now got a cube, if I outline it, that looks very distorted because it's going down to its vanishing point. So I'll straighten that line up a bit better. And you can see if we compare this back to our no point perspective, how unique and good our vanishing points help us make a three point perspective cube. So that's just the very basics, the very starting point that you're going to be using. Once you've understood this, you can then move on to drawing your next cube and moving on to the next tutorial.